Ah, uh, this isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Oh, it is just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. I hardly think that a mad old woman's lotions and potions are going to cure us. We should keep moving. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes! I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Ugh. Blast it all, I'm going home. No helping. We're exposed now. Order's gate. I care about our lives. Our futures. Think you can take me on? No. You just care about your stupid apprenticeship. 